Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly. Real Illusion Forum, AnimatorsForum.com. Um, today I'm going to show you the start of a whole bunch of tutorials, hopefully. Hopefully. We'll see how things go. On using, uh, creating polygonal hair for use in uh, Character Creator and iClone. Uh, this is in Blender 2.8, which I highly recommend now. Free, obviously. Uh, what's not free is the tool that I use to create the hair. It's the hair, hair tool. Uh, and I can give you the exact particulars for those who are interested. We'll show you how it works first, though. Uh, this is, like, like really easy to use, and I think it creates great hair, and hopefully we can, uh, we can solve all the mysteries of creating good hair for all of our characters together. So here's a... Those of you who are not familiar with Blender, the, what I've done is I took... In Character Creator 3, I took this character and exported him, and uh, I also, uh, you know, exported him. I also created a hair cap, but we'll talk about that in later, later tutorials. But I exported the, the character, brought him in to, as an OBJ, a nude OBJ, brought him in, selected only his head, and deleted everything else. So basically it's the CC base body, but it's just the head. Now there is this hair cap here, but I don't want you to worry about that for the moment. We'll turn that off. Uh, we're not going to use that for now. So... Uh, with the base body selected, I'm in object mode, base body selected, and you go down here. And what I've done uh, previously is I've defined some vertices and went in and selected vertices. And this isn't a Blender tutorial, but we'll uh, later on we'll get into showing you exactly how to do that if you don't know. But I, I selected all these vertices, and if you go into edit mode, you can actually uh, select the vertices so and see them. So there's a goatee there. And I've got uh, a mustache selected here, which is one we're going to use. So I selected these vertices, and we want to have these certain selections to use because we're going to use those in where we grow our hair. So go to object mode. We're going to go to particle systems. going to create a particle system. doesn't matter what we call it. Uh, I'm not going to use a, a thousand particles, but I'm going to create hair. So you notice there's hair everywhere. So the first thing we're going to do is tell it that we only want hair in that mustache. So we go to density. We click in right here, and we say just the mustache. So now that just gives us the hair and the mustache. It's just that simple. And then we're going to lower down the number. We really don't need a lot because we're going to use the hair system, which is going to create uh, hair for us. So uh, you can use more particles, but we'll, we'll keep it around 100 or so. So got a 100, got a little 100 growth here. And now I'm going to go into particle edit. This is the really cool spot. So here you have all these tools of combing and lengthening and doing things. So all you have to do really is you comb your hair, you know, just like you comb your hair in the morning. Uh, for the mustache, I'm going to comb this mostly straight down here because, whoops, got a little hair, a little hair, a little wild hair up his ass or up his nose or something, even more disgusting. Uh, so I'm um, going to make, a, I don't know, I'm just... I've been making Fu Manchu mustaches, so I'm all all morning. So uh, I'll, I'll maybe I'll make something a little different here. So you have the cutting tools here, so you can you can trim the hair anywhere you want, and um, and get it exactly how you want it to look. I'll try to make a little different kind of mustache than the ones I've been doing. Uh, maybe make it look something like my own mustache, although I also have a beard. Um, that's okay. You could also lengthen, there's add hairs, there's just all kinds of things you can do to your hair. But you want to make sure it's combed down properly. Uh, that looks pretty good. Might want to, yeah, looks like it's combed down properly. And you can kind of play with this all day long in terms of, uh, but I wanted to show you just how easy and simple it is to get it looking really good. Okay, I think that looks good. Uh, so now we go to the hair tool. So this is this hair tool. And I'm going to turn on, and I've got the shaded mode here so we can actually see what the hair looks like. So we go into interactive grooming, and what's going to happen is it's going to actually put the hair shader in just like we like it. But you'll notice right away it's not very full. So we want to adjust the strand width a little bit here. We want to bump it up just a little bit, not a whole lot, just a little bit close to under three, some of that neighborhood three. And now you can see that we really have a mustache. And that's really all there is to it. There's other options here. We're going to go through a lot of these things when we do other hairs on the top of the head. But for now, that's really all I'm going to do. So now with this, I'm going to go back to object mode. And we want to make sure we have that object that we just created, that particle object selected. And then we use the shortcut key for generating the curve ribbons to mesh ribbons. It's got to be a mesh because that's what uh, iClone and Character Creator are going to use is a mesh. 
And now with that mesh selected, I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Export, and I'm going to export the OBJ. Make sure I'm only exporting that selection. That's all we want to do. Call it Mustache. Export it just like that. Come in here, and then we go to Create, Accessory, and then Mustache. We open that up. And when it comes in, it's not going to be exactly aligned. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go here and adjust the pivot. Always got to edit the pivot and put it in the center of that uh, thingy there. And then from there, we're going to just push it out a little bit to so it fits the face. There we go. Right about there looks good. And maybe just move it over just slightly. Yeah, maybe it's okay. Good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Something like that. Yep, looks pretty good. Might want to embed it just a little bit more into the face. There we go. Okay. And then the last, you might say, well, that doesn't look very good, Mike. Well, that's because we haven't put the textures on. Put the opacity textures on, hair strip opacity. That puts it in there. And then put some, uh, some colors to it. Change it to the digital hair, of course, to get the exact shading. And then I like to play around with the color a little bit, adjust it, maybe make it, uh, he's a little... A little more like a Tom Selleck sort of character, so he has a, a darker mustache, and, and it's just that easy. And there's your mustache. And so, you know, you can do beards, all kinds of things, quick and easy, save it out. Uh, I like for mustaches to save them out as, a, as accessories and don't save them out as hair, only because the, the upper lip is not going to conform the mustache anyway. Uh, for the lower lip, for other beards, we're going to shave, save them out as hair. We'll do a conversion on that, and we'll show you that next time. But in the meantime, that's just how easy it is to create great-looking polygonal hair in iClone using the Blender and the Hair Tool plugin. And we'll see you around on the forums.